Ja, das wird quick. Uh, Unirock, <lacht> thank you for the Prime Sub. <lacht> And hello. Good morning. Okay, so okay, Kaya is there. He's doing good. I'm not sure if that is so good. Let's make it good with this corner. Oh, point five. Elcon, oi. Point twenty one and their striker. Oh, okay. It's already better than the night cup of the day we won, actually. Yeah, already won because I touched the finish ring a little bit before finishing. I think I would be ahead if I didn't.
It's very risky this corner. Too bad. Let's try it though. <sighs> Almost PB. Why is this cactus there? <laughs> Jerker Thomas Shaw, wow, the morning cup of the day is, I think, lately more difficult than the night one. That's really crazy. Like five players under the point twenty-five. We had seen the night we won. Uh, was not that crazy. This is slow. <laughs> was not a good corner. I mean, then there's a big gap though. Tenth place is only a point seventy six. Which is relatively slow in comparison. I 
I mean, we have five very good times already, and Thomas Shaw is, of course, also a very good player and probably can also try much better. This is the drift that I don't like. And the thing is I can train this map as much as I want. Like this this drift will always be an issue. <laughs> it will not change. Oh. I thought I already had it and opened my steering. Didn't need to. For me it's similar Quenta, like in the night cup of the day, I lost the whole final there, because I uh, lost the gear. That it cost me just too much time at the exit of the corner. I'm just not very confident with this kind of drift. For 92. I had even more of a lead for some time. It was even more possible. Oh lol. Hello Parsival. Over a second I had you on the server. So in the seating I already got my second place that I asked for. Very good. <laughs> Oh. 
Fortschritt. You could say that I also lost uh, the final les yesterday against Aurel in that drift. Um, of course, there were also other parts. Mainly, I lost it in the finish. But uh, if you take also all the other uh, turns into account where I lost time, I think the drift was one of the biggest time losses. That was the reason why Aurel had already a good lead in the start. Uh, and then again, it's down in the final of the night rerun. I also. There, there it was even worse because I lost my gear, so I lost more time in the drift. And I, I can show you what my issue always with these drifts is. It's a little bit about what you focus on when you drift. I often focus on the inside. Like I go into this drift and I focus basically on this apex there. Um, the thing is that for getting this apex, I have to drift somewhere here. And the back end of my car goes close to that wall. Uh, the thing is that I don't really want to look at that wall. I still want to focus on the apex and just hope that this works. So in solo, I only focus here when I hunt the track. And then yeah, I will see if I touch the wall there or not. But in uh, rounds, I'm of course afraid of touching this wall when I don't look there. So I try to be more inside so that I definitely don't touch it. Yeah, so I t try to take more space to the outside there. And still look always to the inside here. But with this tighter angle, uh, it's already more difficult to hold the gear, to, to hold good speed through the corner. And then there is of course this dead end here. Uh, when you touch this wall and it bounces you to here, then you're dead. It will cost you basically multiple seconds. So in rounds or knockout, I especially don't want to do exactly that mistake. <laughs> so I also want to take there a bit of space. And then the corner just gets too tight for me to, to really keep good speed through it. And that is basically my issue with this. Uh, the issue is basically the outside wall. That, that there is something sticking out when I start my drift. Uh, so whenever there is such a corner or on other tracks, you will see me struggling, and uh, that's why I struggle here as well. Hello, TNT Crafter. Ah, Horko, thank you. <laughs> okay, no elimination round, let's full risk. Okay, it's already over with the risk. <laughs> I couldn't make it full speed around. Uh, this is of course a very very dangerous mistake as well. Now, so close to the wall I can go there, <laughs> but it feels dangerous in rounds to do that. Thanks for the follows. Are there plans you want to move to another city in the regional deuce box scoreboard? It's impossible for me to get top one with you in there. Uh, no, nah, I'm actually kind of new here where I live. so, And I am here because of work and the work seems to be very stable and will probably, it will probably stay the case that I uh, work for, for multiple years or for always here. So. I don't really see me moving at the moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> I 
I also thought about not changing it in the Scorpus, like not changing the city and just keep my old ones where I have been, like in Saxon Anhalt. But uh, yeah, then people of course ask me, oh, where do you live? Do you live here near Halle or something? And uh, yeah, <laughs> I don't anymore, so it's also a bit weird. That was worth a try. <laughs> yeah. I never actually saw these save finishes. Like, I never really looked at them. I didn't know there were two. <laughs> and I did never looked at them how they look like. <laughs> and also never drove to them. Interesting to see. I mean, this turn feels really nice. When you have the correct entry, and you don't really have to do much in the corner, it will just work. The car will just go around on the outside. It's so... An, a nice feeling, just a nice feeling, this corner. Very interesting. Also, this outside corner, uh, which is then with releasing, not just full YOLO, it's uh, cool. Point 0.89. With a safe finish, safe time. And I don't see Elcon in the top places. I think Elcon is already completely over risking it. <laughs> Typical Elcon. 55.568 or 5559. Close. Oh, yeah. And there's Elcon, Laudus, and Krakus where you live. It's impossible. I Then you can visit them, you can meet them. You can do a real life meeting. Yes, I got second in light as well. Don't want to talk against who it was. <laughs> I mean, Oberhaus and Duisburg is at least not that far away from each other. I think there are more crazy things, like where, where it's really difficult to uh, take a city. There were, there were such cases. Where it was difficult to say what you have to choose from. <laughs> yeah. I guess one part of Germany where there is no city to choose from, uh, a very large area, for example. But I'm not completely sure where it was. I'm not sure if Münster is, for example, in. It might be that Münster is not part. Like Münster or Osn Osnabrück, they are not part of uh, cities you can choose. And I think it was Lars. Uh, Lars, for example, he took, I think, Dortmund. And uh, Dortmund makes not much sense because he is super far away from Dortmund. But in the area where he lives, like in uh, for the border of 
like Lower Saxony uh, and Nordrhein-Westfalia, like somewhere there, uh, around that border, uh, there is just no city. Like you would take Münster maybe, yeah, or Osnabrück, or Bielefeld, but that's also already a bit further away. He's like in the middle of that stuff with, with Bremen and and then in the northeast is of course far away to Hamburg. Like the that is nothing, yeah. There's not really a city. But the closest one would be like so Münster, maybe. But he can't choose that. So and there's also nothing in the eastern parts of the Ruhrpott. Uh, like very eastern, like Hamm or so. So he actually took Dortmund. And uh, Dortmund is really far away, like there would be so many other cities that would be closer, <laughs> but he can't take them. And that's uh, like one example. Inside line, Pock. Safe finish. Yeah, I also have Barbos and Striker. <laughs> Hello, Chris. Or you just don't take anything in your country at all, uh, but you take like Equatorial Guinea and then some, some district there. <laughs> just for the fun. <laughs> Might be only just a bit confusing when you have then these uh, country tournaments. Here you are African. Let's uh, let's do a team. <laughs> wow, a 55 winning time. Elcon was in red, not anymore. Bergträger gets in. Parsival, no. In the first red position. Like, I don't see Elkhorn a lot in first place. Like, I think he is actually crashing in 80% of the rounds.
got the Equatorial Guinea. You might still be the only one, <laughs> though. <laughs> the only player. Who knows? <laughs> There it starts, I lost the gear. I hope that you can actually choose this country. Like maybe you can't even choose every country. But I think you can. Maybe not Vatican City. <laughs> Yeah, again, or Elcon. What is he doing? <laughs> uh, will I win this, Marius? No, I get second. But first of all, yes, we got top 32. <laughs> there are only set of T grinders in you online. Naja, I wondered what I do after this. Uh, and I might also do set of T. The problem is that I don't know yet if I can play. Like, my colleague at work is right now, hopefully, asking if someone can take over the shift that I have on the Saturday tea weekend. But I also don't know when and yeah, when I would get an answer. Like, it's, it's just so garbage. I, in that moment when they announced it, I saw immediately that this is coming. That's, uh, I mean, there are just not many good weekends, to be honest. Uh, because I knew about the offline tournament, no? that was what I could Google. I could Google, aha, uh -huh. uh, this offline tournament will be there in June, so I need to have free there. And uh, sometimes the online tournament was like one or two weeks before, so I took actually holidays. Uh, for now almost uh, yeah over three weekends definitely so two and a half weeks or so I took holidays starting with the weekend where my father has birthday oh, yeah and uh, now the uh, the thing is that the cup is in the weekend before the three weekends that I took holidays so that I have weekend shift there was just super likely and yeah now currently uh, the plan is that I have to work and the thing is, they announced it always so late, like the plan for for the next month, it was just standing, it was just clear. And they announced it basically like five hours too late. Uh, my colleague who makes the plan was at work on that Sunday, but he just left the work and then they announced the date. And then it was too late, and then I tried to reach him in private. <laughs> But I couldn't reach him like for four days, so I had to wait and wait and wait. And now he said, now nah, he doesn't shift, uh, he doesn't switch with me the weekends that we work. Uh, because there's also a birthday on that Saturday weekend that he wants to attend, so yeah. So it has to be another solution, and if that other solution is not possible, then I have to fucking work on that weekend. And the thing is that when I, uh, I have like holidays that I can take in the year and I miss always some uh, reasons for what I can take holiday yeah once in the summer or oh, Elcon out once in the summer okay then uh, with the family when they make uh, holidays okay then once over Sylvester yeah but uh, because I have a traditional meeting with uh, school friends like friends that I learned in school or but to know in school. Um, so those are ob obviously for me the parts where I want to take free, but I still have other days. Uh, I can take a bit around my birthday, but not too much. It's it's difficult. Uh, there's still much more. And when I have to choose something, then I think, yeah, want to have free at Saturday and the days before Saturday. This is when I want to have free. Uh, yeah, but they announced it so late that it's basically never possible for me to plan that stuff. No? And now the worst case happened, 
I have to work on that weekend. That's just annoying. It's just annoying. Because I would like to take free and much, much earlier, but I can't because they just don't announce this. Yeah, the thing is that, uh, now that it's not solo, but it's duo, people like Klaas also want to know if I can play or not. Yeah, they of course want to know if I am there and if it makes sense to team up with me. No? So if I tell them I, I don't know yet if I can be there, uh, you have to wait. You have to wait. Uh, let give. Yeah, give me some more time to figure it out if I can play. Then uh, also the, the alternatives for Lars are getting raw. No? If he then also waits to decide and then at the end I can't, no? that would be the worst case if I then can't play, then he also has maybe lost a few teammates that he could play with because they teamed up already with someone else. So because of the duo thing, it's very, very annoying that I don't know it yet. But it's also annoying because I really have... Naja, I don't have that much motivation to start training when I might not even play. <laughs> so I, I could hunt the tracks now and then it's for nothing because I'm actually not uh, playing. No? So it's very difficult to motivate myself. But now I have some days free. So now I would have the chance to train, to practice. Uh, there will be some more time later in the month where I have to work much more. And uh, might be that I then know, okay, okay, I can play, but then I don't have time to practice because I'm at the work very often. Uh, that's also the thing, like if I get free on that Saturday weekend, the chance is high that I have to work then a lot before. Uh, I, I will see how this turns out now. I will see. <clears throat> Facecam when? Hello. <laughs> you can do a, a safer risky fin on the right side of the trees. Yeah, yeah, I know it's uh, faster, uh, um, but yeah, it's not completely safer. When I uh, when it's then closed, then I go for it. I just heard in the night rerun, for example, that over half of the server died at the trees or at the bush there at the end. I mean, in theory, I never had big issues with that. Only if I really full risk the last corner and have no time to straighten out my car for the jump. Uh, but you know. And save my Do you work in shifts? Yeah, a day shift that goes from uh, maybe early in the morning till cup of the day evening till evening cup of the day it's like very long the shift it's like almost 13 hours and i also work on weekends no, i work any day like i don't have the typical monday to friday week no not at all it's really i can work at every day Currently only day shifts. Oh, I lost the gear. That's not good. Go. 
Opus. I'm fifth now. But I will still go here third, okay. But people crashed in the end. <clears throat> What do you do that you have to work on weekends that much? Yeah, it's just a, a kind of work where always one person has to be there from Monday to Sunday. There always has to be one of us there. And we are only three people and we try to, uh, now yeah, uh, let me focus this drift. Ah, kept the gear. <laughs> we are only three people and uh, in the main idea is that every one of us is basically taking at least one weekend each month. Yeah, because it's unfair when, when some colleagues are doing multiple weekends and the other ones none. Uh, we, everyone has to do at least one. Yeah, and when there's a fourth weekend or fifth weekend then uh, yeah, you have to see maybe uh, that fourth weekend is then split it. One guy is doing the Saturday, the other one the Sunday. This is like how it works. <clears throat> yeah, I'll comment out. What do I do? No, yeah, I'm a weather forecaster for military airplanes and those airplanes they need uh, all the time they, they might have to go they might have to start at any time the airplanes that I'm talking about uh, so at any time it could happen that they uh, realize oh we have to go into the air so at all the time they need to have a weather forecast that they actually can start and where they can land if their own airport is then maybe too bad from the weather like if there's a sun thunderstorm for example the thunderstorm is one issue <laughs> yeah. There's also such a thing uh, that you can be too safe in your forecast that you say, nah, look, it's very bad, you can't fly, better don't fly, it might be bad. <laughs> and then I don't fly and then actually the weather is not that crazily bad. <laughs> Or you risk it sometimes and say, yeah, you wanna fly, uh, so I give you the chance to fly, I forecast the weather not that bad, so you are allowed to, no, there, there are rules, like they are not allowed to fly with a certain weather situations, and if I forecast them, then, then they are ripped, and they can't do it. Imagine Elcon would do that job, the airplanes would crash. <laughs> Where am I from? From Duisburg. Uh, not really from Duisburg, no. From Goch. But, <laughs> but Duisburg is the region in Trackmania. <laughs> but I am actually kinda new here and only here because of the work. I'm, usually from East Germany or came from East Germany earlier 
when I was in several cities because uh, I was in the boarding school uh, from the ninth to uh, grade to the yeah, end of the school. And uh, there I was in Braunschweig, for example, so already in the west. And then I was studying in the University of Leipzig, so that was then East Germany again. Could I work from home? No, because I don't have the uh, software. Like, you know, it has to do with military, it's a bit, no, uh, no, geheim. You can translate for me. <laughs> like, you don't really get all that stuff to your home. <laughs> Also, I drove a 54.7 and it was close for a long time. Oh, the chance for the second place is alive. <laughs> He DNF'd for the memes, what the fuck? <laughs> he DNF'd. <laughs> Point four though. Point four is okay. <laughs> After the start, where I lost again everything in the drift and in the very first dirt platform part. No, neutral, you are wrong. If I had DNF now, I actually would have lost. <laughs> I might have lost there. Uh, 
it's it's not the case anymore that the guy that takes more CPs wins when he DNFs later. It's not the case anymore. I would have lost, maybe. No, oh, but GG. Like, there was an update and it changed it. Is it just random? I'm not sure uh, what it is, but there was a division. After an update, there was a Division 2 final that I saw, and the one guy was DNFing very early on, and the other guy drove to the finish. And right before the finish, he stopped driving, did some burnouts, and thought it would be funny to DNF as well, and then he lost with that. <laughs> I mean, a bit unfortunate, yeah. You, could, you couldn't know, but well. Uh,